Okay, so today we're going to do some much need repair on the rear quarter panel of the Mustang. As you can see, it's chewed up pretty good, unfortunately. Uh, so, I have a patch panel. Let me sit you guys down. The patch panel I've already kind of fit up on the car. Uh, to be honest, it is not very uh, close um, fitting wise. See if I get it kind of lined up in here. It's kind of cool. All right. So it, it's kind of where it needs to be. And you can see it comes out. I mean, a whole bunch here, but that could be because of damage. Uh, but I think that's about as close as I'm gonna be able to get it all the way around. Um, so I'm gonna mark that line and uh, get an idea where to start cutting uh, out. So here's the line after I traced it out, I had to kind of drop the camera to get it in uh, and hold it up. So it actually is gonna fit pretty pretty perfect on the in regards to covering up all this stuff. Uh, down here I didn't, I hit with one very light coat of primer just to try and protect it. I wasn't sure how much I was gonna cut out or anything. So that's no worries that that's just already uh, uh, chipping off there. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take my grinder and I'm gonna go ahead and grind off this line. Uh, and I'm going to go to the inside of that line, kind of down low, and all the way back through here. Uh, I want to try and keep this line uh, because that's really good, follows it pretty uh, pretty good, and everything is looking uh, great on that side of the quarter panel, so uh, I might try and keep that. I haven't decided yet. Uh, I think I'm going to start small and just kind of cut out all this stuff in here. And it absolutely needs to be replaced and that I can get an idea of actually holding that patch panel up there getting some clamps on it and make sure it's all gonna hopefully fit but as you can see sitting in here and everything it kind of is rusty um, probably could have been saved um, but not with this dents and everything it's uh that is there so I'm probably just gonna zip it right around in here and just kind of then be able to fit the panel up and uh, kind of just go from there. So I'll put you guys on time lapse while I start cutting and fitting and trying to get figured out. Okay guys, so I went ahead and got all the old stuff cut out as you saw. Uh, I still left out a lot of the quarter panel that is there. Um, and that's because uh, I want to keep as much structure as I can to keep it nice, true, and straight. Um, so here it is. Um, it definitely fit pretty good overall. This uh, body line right here just needs to come in. But I mean, I could probably, as it sits right now, weld everything together. Um, so anyway, this whole section, I mean, it follows the body line pretty good, not bad, but it is vastly different than the other side. And I can tell you just by looking at it, see how far that dips in? 
so for reference it goes into like the second vertical line on my rear wheel versus this side it goes into the second one but it's not as harsh it kind of flows better if that makes sense um, this side definitely drops off and this whole back portion is just I mean that's horrible I mean that's over an inch so I have to figure out if I wanted the front to look bad or the back and I'm gonna like to do the back because obviously there's a lot of really good metal still back here um, as you can see this is where the uh, old cord panel is this little primer piece right here here's the new uh, drawer or the trunk floor drop off and I uh, left a whole bunch of extra metal here because I read online that these patch panels don't fit and they're really big. I didn't realize it was gonna be, you know, that big of a gap, not even close. And even if I push this up and in, it doesn't fit up and in unless you cut like a relief cut, probably in this corner. It just does not follow that body line because uh, right now it's all nice and tight and then it just drops down. So if you did a relief cut in here, and then you pushed it all up, I think that would fix it, uh, but I'm not entirely sure. Uh, this side, I think it does have a relief cut in here. Uh, this is for, there's a little screw though, I think that's for the rear valence. And this is just some rust because I didn't prime apparently right there. So, yeah, uh, it's, it's like okay, you know. Luckily it is a nice flat piece of metal. Uh, so I will work with it, but this whole back section is just not great So what I'm gonna do is try a relief cut right in here and then see if I can push this up and at least get it close uh, If I can't get it close Then I will uh, probably end up Cutting this somewhere. Um, I don't know exactly where I kept good metal in the back here But somewhere in here and I'll just patch from here forward um, and, and, and call it good now Joe Daddy's Garage did a review of this and he he took it and he chucked it away from the uh, build and he actually just bought a whole new quarter panel and filled it from there and I definitely see why because uh, you know this just really doesn't exactly fit all that great so at least that back portion again I could be wrong and maybe once I do put a relief cut in there um, It'll fold up at nice and in, and then if it does, then I'll, you know, I'll be a lot happier. But uh, again, this piece uh, was significantly cheaper than buying a whole quarter panel, and because my quarter panels are in good shape in general, I really didn't want to touch them and mess with them. Uh, I am a little nervous though because I am doing this while the car is up on jack stands, so uh, my videos are coming out uh, kind of in a timeline, trying to keep things together. But uh, I've been getting a lot done the last few weeks. Um, from basically blocking the entire car, getting the whole entire fuel system done, to getting all the metal work done, the fenders done. I got uh, actually have a whole new interior that you guys haven't seen yet. I'll probably post that later. So I mean, it's been very, very busy. A lot, a lot of work. A lot happening. Um, so anyway, I have the car jacked up. That being said, and I'm scared, a little nervous. When I let the pressure go back down on the car, what's going to happen? Uh, I don't think anything, I think everything will be fine because I am going to weld it uh, while it's in place. And I think it's, I really don't think it's going to flex, uh, you know, enough to where it's going to cause any, you know, potential difference in the metal or anything like that. So uh, I am nervous though because obviously it will be flexing. But anyway, what I'm going to do right now off camera is I'm just going to go ahead and put a little relief cut in this corner and try and bend that up and see if it hugs the rear section better because uh, if it does I'd rather have the new stuff there because I'll see it's just new metal and then I can go ahead and probably cut away some of this clamp it together kind of see how it fits but there's even like a dip right here which I don't know that's like a bend or something this angle right here is different this little style line I don't think this side has that style line yeah, no, see, so this is a, a nice straight edge, and then it stops right here. There's 
like no edge there it's basically rounded for this style line so maybe if I relief cut it push it up that'll get that a little bit more pronounced but regardless it's better than what I had and uh, you know good driver car so <sighs> you know this is probably the first big piece I've had that um, I'm not too crazy happy with but I will say going in uh, I had very little expectations for this and that is better than what I originally thought so there is that so and I'll get back to you guys with results So we got everything cut out and everything is fitting pretty dang good. I'm going to do some uh, cleanup on this inner, is it the outer wheel to outer wheel tub. Um, and actually, believe it or not, I did not know this, but the wheel tubs have a little slot for this trunk drop off to go directly right into. Um, so what I think I'm going to do is go ahead and grind some of this down in this corner and throw some weld on there just to try and get everything nice and tight. And our patch panel is fitting really really nice I uh it's not gonna fit nice with that thing maybe that clamp in the way but uh, what I did was I left the patch panel up here to try and get it as close as I possibly can and it's hitting that clamp at the bottom but it's fitting really really good um, so when I was cutting the uh, quarter out what I did was, I don't know if you saw me, I tried going an angle kind of like this. And my thought was to try and get behind the little piece of metal. That way I don't have a gap or anything. So, I don't know if that made a difference or not. But, uh, hopefully it did. It would help out. But I'm going to go grab a grind off wheel for the grinder. Grind off inside there. Uh, and then weld that up. And then grind off the quarter panel and the new piece. Weld that up as well. So turned out pretty good uh, I will update you guys because that's just gonna be some grinding and uh, I might throw it on time lapse for some welding uh, maybe not for the inside maybe for the outside because I'm trying to focus this video more so on the quarter panel patch but uh, yeah we'll just keep on going Okay, so we went ahead and got that guy welded in. Uh, went pretty good overall. Uh, not too bad. As I'm trying to get in there, you should see my welds. That's before I grinded anything down. So, not perfect by any means, but I'm definitely feeling a little bit more comfortable. You can see right through this section when I started doing it, I think I warped the panel. And same in this little section here. So I think once I grind that down, um, and a little bit of bondo it'll you'll never be able to tell uh pretty happy with how it came out kind of keeping it this way it really helps keep the body line it's actually really smooth especially down here where i was able to clamp it and get it uh really close and tight uh clamping this thing was very difficult actually uh to try and get it in there and that's i couldn't get really anything up in that area or that area so what it was i held it up into place and hit some tacks up in that top right corner uh, to try and hold it in and uh, then I guess I just started getting a little too too happy too quick with the welder and uh, yeah definitely think I probably warped it a little bit because this side was all nice and straight until right about here there's a couple but those really not bad uh, just not exactly perfectly lined up like all the rest of it down there and right through here is really good and this whole side's good but about right through there um, the panel that I added went kind of just a little bit behind and uh, so I had to bridge that gap and yeah so not that great in this section here so it's still holding still strong which is nice 
uh, but I am going to end up obviously adding some Bondo to it and closing up all those gaps 100%. Yep, same as here where I couldn't quite clamp it and get it nice and straight. So, uh, just is what it is. In all honesty, it's actually not too terrible. So, uh, I'm going to go ahead and grind these down a little bit and then add some Bondo. But uh, that'll probably conclude this video on the quarter panel patch. So, thanks guys for watching. Um, as always, leave some comments and uh, any tips or tricks you guys may have. Some of the things I am going to be working on in some later videos is the body work, which you guys will all see. Oh, it's been a lot doing the whole entire car. As you can see, it is all epoxy primed, uh, but that has been a headache in itself. So, uh, this is the newest of all of my videos, and uh, probably about this point, you'll see uh, where I end up taking stuff, um, and we'll go from there. But uh, as always, yep, leave some 